If you're looking for a rechargeable headlamp with one of the brightest reds and brightest green LEDs on it, stay tuned for this video. Hi guys, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop, here with a brand new brand we've just got in called the M Tiger Sports, and this is the Seal. So it's a multicolored uh, headlamp, right angle torch, really, really nice unit. So we'll get into the unboxing and run through the specs for you. So first of all, the uh, M Tiger Sports Seal comes in a nice little box here, but uh, what you get in it, you get your headlamp which is the size of a single 18650. Um, it is nice and uh, nice and light. Really, really great looking headlamp. Comes with a single 18650 included, fully rechargeable. Uh, what else you get is you get your headlamp strap with a metal clip on the front. So it just clips on and off. Don't have to undo any straps or anything. I found it really sturdy when I was using it. Uh, it didn't flop around or anything like that. So really well made um, sort of mount and headlamp sort of pretty, pretty standard. You also get your user manual and shows you everything you need to know. Um, you get another sort of mount clip, GoPro mount they're calling it. Um, so if you've got a helmet or any GoPro mounts available, uh, you can just put this straight on and you can clip your, t clip your headlamp, your torch straight in and out really, really easily. You get another clip as well, pocket clip or sort of on a, like a helmet clip as well. Um, Really sturdy, all metal. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna have any dramas with uh, sort of that at all. You get your charging cable, which is just a USB to that magnetic port on the other end. Um, really easy to use. And yeah, I'll run through that a bit later. You also get your a spare O-ring, which is great. Um, make sure you sort of swap those around if you if your, uh, your other one's sort of perishing or anything like that, just to keep that waterproof rating right up. Uh, but yeah, we'll jump in the specs straight away. So what you get here is a really nice looking headlamp. I'd probably class it as more a headlamp than a right angle torch, even though it does come with uh, the few different clips as well. Uh, so it is quite versatile, but I would probably use it more as a headlamp. It's really, really nicely made, uh, really high quality stuff. Um, it's maximum of 1200 lumens. So it's not like a crazy output 4000 lumen headlamp, um, but the build quality is fantastic. It comes with a really nice big on off button. It's really easy to use. You can find it in the dark, which is what you want. A lot of heat sink at the back, uh, which a lot of sort of headlamps are missing these days. So the heat sink is fantastic, works really well. The red and green LEDs are some of the best I've seen throw wise. They look like they're running off sort of a little TIR lens in there. So you are gonna get some great distance out of those reds. And the white is nice and diffuse. So you're gonna get really, really, a nice beam pattern out of that one and um, yeah so you can use it as a working light or general purpose light um, running off that 18650 which is great I mean I run a lot of 18650s so um, yeah it's nice you can know you can just whip that out and put a general 18650 in there as well and it looks like you can run sort of the mounts in two different spots which is sort of here and here um, so yeah you can either just Whack that straight on there. You can kind of hear how sturdy that thing is. Um, so yeah, it's not going to come off. So yeah, it's not going to come off like too quickly at all, um, which is great. Some of the outputs though, like I said, 100% is 1200 lumens and you're going to get a solid hour and a half out of that, um, which is pretty good for 18650 light. I mean, it doesn't take much to carry an extra 18650 in your pocket. The heat sink's going to do a great job on that. So yeah, definitely going to get those run times. It's going to, uh, next step down is 70% output, which is about 840 lumens. And you're going to get about two and a half hours of runtime on that, which is really good at lumen output and really good run times actually for 840 lumens. 40% 40 is 480 lumens. And you're going to get again, three and a, three and a half hours, three hours and 20 minutes runtime. This is all on the white as well. Um, so really, really nice uh, run times out of those medium modes. 20%, 240 lumens, um, you can get five, five hours at runtime plus. Um, yeah, again, that's walking around sort of anywhere. Um, trails are doing some close up work. That um, 240 lumens is more than enough. Then you go drop down to your 5%, which is 60 lumens. And that is actually for um, such a little light, it actually focuses that in really well and you can see what you're doing. Not a lot of lights at 5% can you can sort of see what you're doing and walking around. This one, you definitely can. 
And then it's got an SOS sort of strobe function as well, which is at 250 lumens. Um, and it's saying you'll get around 22 hours out of that. But the red and the green functions are really, really nice. So red and green both got three modes on it. So maximum red is 200 lumens uh, and you're gonna get three and a half hours runtime out of that, which is huge. I mean, especially if you're sort of searching for wildlife or not wanting to sort of ruin your night vision too much or don't want to sort of um, interrupt anyone, uh, the red is fantastic. And it being on that little TIR lens, you get some great distance out of it. Like I was getting in sort of a, a tree canopy sort of 10, 15 meters up. And yeah, it was definitely reaching up there to a couple of possums and a few things like that. Drops down to 100 lumens after that. Seven hours runtime. Doesn't take much to run those LEDs. So loads of runtime off a single 18650. And then you could drop down again to a 40 lumens um, for ages, 15 hours or so. And that's probably enough to just read a map or something really right in front of you. Um, yeah, it's not going to be enough to sort of walk around with it all. Then you get over to the green and the green is 200 lumens on max again, three hours and 10 minutes run time. So it takes a little bit extra power to run the green. So it feels a lot brighter though than the red and the green. Um, yeah, it does a really good job and throws out really nice as well. Um, then you drop down to 100 lumens for five, six hours. And again, that's probably easily enough light to walk around with and have no dramas on sort of a night walk or a yeah, wildlife walk or even yeah, just hunting around. Then you're gonna drop down to 40 lumens uh, for yeah, 22 hours. So ages run time. For those, uh, for single 18650, 18, like I said, um, you're gonna get loads of runtime on that, but it doesn't take much to grab an extra one or if you've got another one, to whip that out and put it straight in and double those run times. Um, does have a memory function, so whatever mode you're on, whether that being green, red, white, um, and whatever mode in between, uh, yet yeah, you're gonna be able to get straight back to that mode if you want. Um, and it's just sort of a simple cycle through uh, motion, just goes high, medium, low, um, and so forth. And then to get to red or green, it's just a quick double press, switches over to um, the red, double press again, switches over to the green, um, and so forth. So really easy to get it, um, my head across and uh, start working and really playing around with, but Definitely one that you're gonna have for years and years, just so well built. Um, forgot to mention that it does have a magnetic tail cap. So they've chucked a lot of features in such compact light. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to see some of my first impressions have been, yeah, outstanding with, um, with this light. So definitely excited to see what else they come out with, other lights we've got in stock. So definitely gonna go check those out. But uh, yeah, so I'd definitely stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, First impressions with this thing, it is yeah really good headlamp. Um, if you're wanting sort of yeah that work uh, all-purpose light uh, that you're just going to have easy use, sort of running a single 18650 something like that, it's definitely one to keep your eye on. Um, that's for sure. Who would I recommend this light to? Pretty much anyone that's going to use a headlamp uh, for a long period of time, just because it's got a really nice heatsink at the back there, um, and it runs on like a pretty readily available battery in 18650. Um, so it's going to be cheap to run, you're going to get years of use out of it, but if you're sort of uh, walking a lot or doing a lot of night walks with um, wanting to look out for wildlife, uh, definitely consider this because it's got some of the best red or, and green LEDs I've seen from a headlamp that's been so compact and it doesn't take much to carry an extra 18650 in your pocket. So run times, I wouldn't worry about that too much, uh, but yeah, that'd be pretty much who I would, uh, who I would recommend this to. Also, I mean, as I said before, if you're using your headlamp a lot, so workers and things like that, it's not too heavy, it's not big and bulky or anything. The white beam, super diffuse, so yeah, gonna be great for work as well. So again, really well made product. M Tiger have done a great job on this headlamp. Um, nice and compact, it's gonna be easy to run and you're gonna get years and years of runtime out of it. Uh, I'll drop a link below to uh, the M Tiger Seal, uh, and you can also reach the whole M Tiger range uh, if you're interested in having a look there. Please um, leave us some comments, let me know what you think about it. I reckon it's a great headlamp, but yeah, definitely give it a go. Uh, yeah, you, you won't be disappointed at all. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, we've got new content coming out 
every week. So yeah, keep yourself up to date. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And I'll catch you on the next one.